abantu safuni ukuthemba ngezinsuku ithemba libonakala sele kude namhlanje ati naqesha lonele lekamva ndifuna nje ukuphila ngoku sekumanga always better to have the windows semi open by at least two finger wide. Why? Is it, is it a question for us? I don't know. Maybe to change the air in the van? No. If you, the windows are completely closed and they throw a brick or a hammer through it, it will shatter in a thousand different pieces. However, if it's semi-closed, the shattering will be limited and maybe give you a chance to allow yourself to escape before they put their hand through to grab the valuables in the car. The second rule is they will shut you uh, hands up to not make like this, but put your hands together like this to try and least to prevent the bullet because they <laughs> always shoot. Another rule, at night, in an area where there is less traffic, when the light is red, it is best not to stop, drive with care, but make it snappy. That goes for whites. Whites or blacks, it depends on the car, your clothes and how you look. Well. They usually think the white man's wallet is always equipped. <laughs> you are white. How can you live in such a situation? What's your personal freedom like? I'm an African, just like he is. My father was born here. My grandfather was born here. I got nowhere else to live. It's just a matter of learning the rules and a matter of behavior. But remember, in South Africa, the population of white people is only 5%. My child life and love life, the bad days with worse nights, 
still I live, man, despite what the world may look like. I'm from a place where people get mugged for phones and shoes, where folks get booze for little things like drugs and booze, where kids skip school, feel what the soul they live in, no glue. It's like the devil's taking over and the world is just cruel. Look at the news, sometimes it's like they twisting the truth and safety is ruled by shady cops who tamper with proof. Violence is due to anyone, may even be you. I'm from a place where we commemorate the 16th of June. We've earned freedom, but we still feel the scars of the past. The memory lasts much longer though the wounds may surpass. I don't care that uh, uh, they do this, they build this, or they have a new city, or they build another mall, or they do whatever. I don't care about those things. They mean nothing to me because they happen everywhere else in the world. Okay? But what really makes me feel South African is the fact that 1976 young people said will not be oppressed anymore. What makes me feel South African is that in the 80s, young people said, will not tolerate this. In the 50s, people like Nelson Mandela said, will not tolerate this. We're here at the Soweto Court and myself and Ms. Mavidi, we are regional magistrates that are specialising in the sexual offences courts. We have four dedicated courts which deal specifically with sexual offences, precisely involving children who have been abused sexually. Right, can you hear the court? Yes, Do you have any objection to act as intermediary? No objection. Right. To the best of your ability, raise your right hand and say, So help me God. So help me God. Do you have any knowledge of the merits of the case? No knowledge, Your Worship. And is any relationship been between yourself and the child? No, Your Worship. So the idea of putting the victim in an intermediary room, far away from the abuser, makes uh, the victim free and she will be in the best position to narrate the incident. The intermediaries are people who are particularly trained. They belong to a certain profession. They can be doctors, social workers, teachers who have a certain number of years in practice. The court will then proceed with an inquiry in terms of section 164 of the procedure act to ascertain whether she can distinguish between the truth and a lie. Let's find out, does she know the word truth? Well, <laughs> Yes, those. And does she know the word lie? What's wrong now, Maka? I'm a tabua Maka. You have a in. Yes, those. But is truth something good or something bad? I'm a tabua niti. Get into an end like a begin bit. Something good, those. The population and the community is much more aware of abuse than in the past. They are much more educated as to what is child abuse. A problem in the past ex uh, existed that not everyone knew what is considered to be child abuse, what is sexual abuse. So everyone is in, up in arms um, about that. And the communities are fighting hard to rid this out of their communities. But I think what we are aware of is a myth surrounding the fact that if you do have HIV and AIDS, that you will be cured if you do have sexual intercourse with a young child. Now, this will never come out in a trial. People will not admit to this naturally. But it surfaced again recently in the media reports that this is the reason why people are still committing it. We were under yeah. the impression it had stopped, <laughs> but unfortunately it continues. We think that that needs to be addressed immediately, you know, at all levels. Uh, but obviously, uh, the, point, the, the basic point here is community empowerment, so that the communities can identify people who are involved in violence, who are abusing women, but also who, who are abusing children at our community level. And I think, in a way, they, they, took, they took away the hope and the dignity of lots of black people, and uh, lots of young black people also. So you have a lot of people who uh, live without a sense of hope, who have no hope about their lives, who have no hope in any political systems, you know, and I think for me that is the issue.
Depois fazes o que com o ferro? O que encontras? Estou a pesar. E depois? Apanhar dinheiro. Tens família? Sim. Conta lá um pouco. Quem é que está na tua família? Odi. Tia Joana. Manacasso. Dércia. Valdinho. Mana Sarita. Tia Joaneta. Tens amigos aqui? Sim. Quem são teus amigos? Paulo, Danito, Joanque, João, Rogério. Eles são grandes ou são mais pequenos do que tu? São pequenos. <música> Servono per giocare? Sì. Per sì. Come ti brinca? Passa un poco. Ye 